are some people who believe in ghosts, and there are some people who don't. If you're the believe in ghosts kind, then this story is about one. And if you're the don't believe in ghosts kind, well, just for fun, this story is about one anyway. His name was Casper, and he was surely the most unusual ghost there ever was, or wasn't, depending on how you feel about it. Every night, stroke of twelve, his brothers and sisters scampered out joyously to frighten the folk of the neighborhood. He'd rather stay home and not frighten people, which goes to show how unusual he really was. <laughs> Wake up, Casper! Time to scare people! <laughs> Casper just doesn't like to scare people. Yes, it sounds sort of silly, but, well, he'd just rather make friends with them. Casper just couldn't stand it any longer. So, Casper decided to leave home to seek new environments where he might forget he's a ghost and make friends with the world.
name is Bonnie. My name is Johnny. What's yours? My name is a... Uh, my name is a... Casper. Do you want to play with us? You mean you... You mean me? You want to... You want to... Uh, play with me?
I don't think anyone ever really believes in ghosts or ghost stories. But uh, there is one they tell about an old deserted little red schoolhouse. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Ooh, ooh, woo! A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. all such willing and apt little pupils. That is, all except poor little Casper, who just wouldn't scare people. Why, he just wanted to be friends with everyone. For homework tonight, we will go out and practice what we screech. Class dismissed. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Now, every night while his classmates were out scaring the daylights out of people, Casper would happily hop along, hoping to find a friend. Mr. Pelican? 
I might as well be dead. <laughs> Nobody wants me for a friend. <laughs> I can do something about that. Say, uh, aren't you afraid of me? <laughs> now I have a real friend. <laughs> I'm gonna call you, uh, Dudley. <laughs> During the next few weeks, I'm sure you couldn't have found a ghost in better spirits than our little Casper. Dudley. Now you better watch me, because you'll have to learn how to swim. Well, that ought to give you a rough idea how to swim. <laughs> Each night, they would snuggle up in their little nest, and Casper would guard his little friend Dudley with his very life. Uh, or with whatever it might be called. <laughs> Our friendship is such a beautiful thing. I don't think you're old enough yet, but you have to learn how to fly sometime. <laughs> That's nothing. You just need some ground training first. Now watch me. Now you try it.
Isn't this a perfect setting for a spine-tingling ghost story? Well, strangely enough, this is a ghost story. Do you scare easily? Do you have nightmares? Do shadows on the wall front you? <laughs> well, relax. This isn't that kind of a story. And just to prove it, let me introduce a ghost that is out of this world. His name is Casper. of the moon, Casper's neighbors go off on their job of scaring the daylights out of people. Contact! Casper doesn't want to go out and boo people. He wants to be friendly. Casper sees no future in this sort of life. So he decides to go out and make friends. Uh, what's your name? Can we be friends, huh? Special name. Um, Ferdy. That's it. Ferdy. 
Reddy Fox. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ferdy lived happily ever after. <laughs>